Okay, I was gonna make a video blog yesterday, but I didn't have time because I was kind of busy. I mean, I've been running around a bit this morning, running a few errands, but, um, I'm okay right now. Okay, um, first off, yesterday was my, um, color belt testing, Taekwondo. So, I got my next red belt. Oh, it's in the closet. Just one second. This is my new belt. We call it the Decided Red Belt. Yeah, there's the Recommended and then the Decided for some of these belts. But anyway, after I master this, then it's the Red Black. Which is like the top half is black and the bottom half is red. It's also known as Recommended Black Belt. And then right after that is Black. But yeah, there's still quite a ways to go after you get your first degree black belt, so I'm not thinking of that as, like, the end. It's like another beginning, actually, the way we think of it. Okay, and you're probably wondering why I have two tripods set up behind me. Okay, that one is the one I'm using for my video production project. Yeah, that camera mounted on top is just, um... Actually, the camera and the tripod are both kind of borrowed, so I need to be careful with those. The black one is one that my family has had since, um, like the 90s. It's pretty old. I mean, the, the little pegs on the bottoms of two of the legs are missing, but it works just fine. I was able to get it out, okay? And, see, there's a small platform on top of each tripod that locks and unlocks, and you can screw it onto a camera and then put it back on the tripod so it'll stay in place. I tested it with my camcorder, and yeah, it'll work. Yeah, the other tripod that I used to use for it is really small, so I'm not going to use that. <laughs> yeah, this used to be used for um, a cassette camera, the kind that like just uses tapes. I mean, the that one also uses tapes, too. In fact, that's one reason that I want to use my camcorder more, because I'm more familiar with the way this one works since I've had it longer. And plus, I have a ton of footage on this thing. So I want to see if I can get the right software and empty it and edit the videos, put them together. Yeah, in fact, that's what I'm planning on doing in the next couple of days. Um, I think when I get to school, I'll take my camcorder and test it on the computer, because we already have the software set up and everything. So I'll be able to take a look at that and see if I can um, put it together with the right kind of software. Yeah, I definitely want to try that so I can get these videos put up. If I can, I'm going to try to put some of them up here on my channel, but don't get your hopes up. I'm, I mean, I am, I'm trying to figure this stuff out as I go, but um, it's not the easiest in my view. I mean, I'm not suggesting it should be extremely easy, because then it would just be a little bit boring. But, you know, it's supposed to be a little tricky, I guess. Oh, and, um, okay, I think I mentioned in one of my video blogs that I like to make things like necklaces and stuff. Well, I have a ton of, like, little supplies, like, um, chains, rings, cords. Well, today I got, um... A little plastic box to store some of the stuff in. Yeah, I've got this um, gold looking chain. Yeah, actually I have a few chains like silver, gold, copper. And I've got a few um, big and small silver small rings. Some of copper and I have a bunch of clasps. They're all in one section here and I've got some I think it's waxed cotton cord that I just got today. Yeah. And uh, the good thing is I can just arrange the little shelves or walls on this thing so I can just adjust how big to make some of these little compartments. Yeah, so that this is good. Now I have a place to store it and it's not scattered everywhere like like a few things on my desk and a few things on my nightstand. 
stuff like that. Anyway, um, the good thing about, um, having my own video camera is I'll be able to use it for my other couple of video production projects if I can actually use it for this. I mean, I should be able to, um, since it should connect to the computer just the same. I mean, I need to use that one for my first project, which I'm still working on. It's kind of required, but, um, I should be able to use my camcorder for the other two projects since I know how to work it better. Yes, yeah, see with this one I'm just a bit more familiar with how it works and all that. I'm just used to the controls. It's kind of natural, you know? Hmm. Uh, what else was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, um, since it's um, just the... Uh, wait, today's the ninth, right? Okay. Since it's October, um, so people are really looking forward to Halloween. I know I am, even though I don't go trick-or-treating anymore. But, um, a bunch of, um, people at my school like to just dress up in costumes because it's kind of silly and just fun. <laughs> I am planning on just having a Ranger's Apprentice sort of cloak, like camouflage. They don't sell stuff like that at Halloween stores, it turns out. But, um, I was at Walmart today looking for this box, and there was, like, this whole section with shelf after shelf after shelf after shelf full of different kinds of colors and patterns of fabric. So, what I'm planning on doing is, once I figure out some good instructions on how to make a cloak and learn how to sew, I can make it. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty interesting to me. I mean, some people think of it as a woman's thing, but I don't. I think it's some. I think it's kind of interesting. Like some people have to patch stuff up that way. So, you know, it only makes sense. And I love making stuff. And it probably won't cost as much to do it either. And um, yeah. And this is the kind of cloak that just clasps at the throat with like a brooch or something. So I can probably just make a brooch. Um. Like something like this, like an oak leaf. I think all I need to do is make one and then glue it to a safety pin. I can just stick it through there and it'll stay in place. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, well, um, that's just about all I have to say right now. I mean, I probably have a couple things I want to talk about later, but I can't think of them right now, and I don't want any awkward silences in my video blog. 